If you're looking for maximum volume out of an axle back and really dig the unique look of the black tips, then the Black Series axle back from MVRP is certainly worth a look. Now this particular kit is going to combine an aluminized steel construction with the high temp black powder coat, all for around the $400 price tag, while the install will involve some light cutting as is the case with any S550, so we'll give this one a soft 2 out of 3 wrenches on the difficulty meter here with a little bit more detail to come on that later in the video. So the Black Series is one of a few different options from the Canadian based brand and will offer the unique black look over the aluminized steel build. Now, if you're not married to this whole black finish thing and actually want to save a few bucks, the Pro Series version of this same exact system will deliver better materials with that 304 grade stainless steel, but at the same time will cost you roughly 50 to 60 bucks less, while both systems will sound identical. And with that said, let's get into the sound a little bit more here, and as you can see, there is absolutely no muffler in sight with the MDRP axle back. And as such, this system will be very, very aggressive, even with the factory cats and resonator still in place. So therefore, I'm going to go with a robust 4 out of 5 on my 1 to 5 or 1 to wake the neighbor scale here. And because that resonator still is in place, the sound is going to be loud, no doubt, but it's not going to be distorted or over the top while inside the car the sound is definitely enjoyable as well. Now replace that resonator with an X or an H pipe down the road and expect that wake the neighbor scale to get pegged as you'll definitely be picking up a lot more volume. But with the sound pretty much covered up, let's get into the materials and construction here at the Black Series. And as pointed out earlier, guys, MDRP does utilize aluminized steel for the build here. And while that material traditionally is not the best when it comes to preventing or reducing corrosion, the inclusion of that black powder coat here will certainly help act as a barrier against the elements, vastly improving the durability of the material. But even still, MBRP will only give you a three-year warranty here on this system, along with a one-year warranty on that black finish itself. But getting into some of the finer details here with the MBRP muffler delete, you're gonna find a very small amount of two and a half inch mandrel bent tubing, all exiting out the quad, four inch tips, double walled, and etched with that MBRP logo. Now it's certainly a very simple system, but one that fits great. It's gonna utilize the factory hangers and maybe best of all, will shed a few pounds compared to those factory cans. Well, let's get into that fitment a little bit more, guys. And again, there is some cutting required here. There's really no getting around that, but it's not nearly as bad as you may think it is. In fact, here is a detailed walkthrough along with a tool breakdown. First thing we're gonna do here is make a mark on our cat back. That's gonna show us where we need to cut so we can remove the factory axle backs. So what we wanna do is find our muffler and come down right after the bend. As soon as the bend stops and you have a section of straight pipe, that's where we wanna cut. I'm gonna go ahead and make a mark here. And we'll do the same thing on this side. You wanna find your bend. Right after the bend, you're gonna have a straight piece of pipe. And we'll make our cut line right we're now ready to cut our factory axle backs out of here. I got a metal cutting blade on my Sawzall, so let's go ahead and get this guy cut. So I'm about halfway through the pipe here. I did throw a pole jack up in place here, so when I go all the way through, this muffler doesn't come down and hit me on my head. All right, we've got our axle back cut now. I'm gonna slide the stock muffler out of place. I'm gonna spray the upper hanger with a little bit of WD-40. Should be able to just slide this right on out of our hanger. Next thing we're gonna do is clean up the cut ends of the pipe that we just made. I'm gonna be using a die grinder with a carbide tip here. If you guys don't have one of these, a round file or a piece of sandpaper will do just fine. So now that we got our stock axle backs out of the way, we can throw our MBRP mufflers up top here. 
First thing I'm gonna do is slide the hanger into the rubber isolator. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide the end right into our pipe here. And put this in, pull it bottom down out. We'll do the same thing on this side. First I'll slide it up into our rubber hanger. I'll slide this in until it bottoms out. I'm gonna tighten these up first before I put the tips on. I have a 15 millimeter socket on my impact on. And last step here is to put our tips on. I'll just slide these up on into place. I have a 5 16 Allen wrench to tighten these up. That's going to wrap up our review and install. Be sure to check out more at AmericanMuscle.com.